Hey folks, just a disclaimer at the beginning of the video that uh, there are some serious ethics and learning involved around incubating, hatching, and breeding snails. So be sure to do your research and know what you're doing before you attempt any of this, um, both for the well-being of the snail species and for the local ecosystem. Snail eggs or domesticated snails should never be released back into the wild. So a little while back I saw that some of my growth snails were mating and pretty recently I found two clutches of eggs in their habitat. Uh, checking for egg clutches is something you should be doing every week regardless if you have snails because they will lay eggs really at every opportunity they have because that's their natural instinct. So I decided to keep one of these clutches um, and the baby snails have almost completely all hatched now and I wanted to show the process of this. Um, but remember that if you do want to do this, you should definitely read uh, the ethical guides and regulations around breeding and incubating snail eggs because it gets very complicated. One of the first things we did was uh, remove the clutch from the adult habitat before hundreds of snail babies will have a chance to hatch. And we put them in a separate container with some of the soil from the parent habitat so they are well incubated with the soil and humidity and microbiome that their parents had when they laid them. We didn't get any more video footage of that process, but we did end up moving the eggs from a smaller container to a larger one to incubate and it took a way shorter time than expected. After about one week, which is quicker than in the wild, uh, a few of the baby snails started hatching and you can see one of them here exploring. They're very small, their shells are translucent and very fragile at this age. Um, they require a lot of calcium uh, to grow their shells. In the wild, they also sometimes eat the shells of unhatched eggs, which is completely natural. So I'm keeping the babies and the unhatched eggs together. There are going to be a lot of baby snails, so absolutely do your research on the ethics of breeding and hatching because it is quite a long and complicated process. An interesting thing to know is that as they were hatching, they all ended up gathering in clumps at the top of the container, which I think is sort of like how schools of fish gather for safety, but they do enjoy hanging upside down from tall places like their parents. This, by the way, is why you should always do egg checks, because if a clutch of eggs hatch in the adult habitat and you don't realize it, you're going to get hundreds of baby snails, which is uh, quite an unmanageable situation. So the baby should always be housed separately from the adults. I'm gonna move on from my growth snails, which are the larger land snails, to my glass snails, which are very miniature and have also laid eggs and hatched. I actually spotted one of them in the middle of laying eggs accidentally when I was cleaning their habitat. And one thing to note is that glass snails are a much smaller than their grove snail cousins and also seem to have egg clutches with far fewer eggs than the land snails. Um, on average, and this is just anecdotal, I've counted maybe 20 to 30 um, eggs per clutch instead of uh, maybe 60, 80, or 100 in the grove snails. They also seem to be less picky about where they lay their eggs because I noticed that the growth snails will only lay eggs in a very humid environment with uh, at least an inch or two of soil to burrow into. But the glass snails, like the one pictured here, and you can actually see the eggs inside the body, uh, are pretty happy to lay eggs wherever there is substrate to dig under. Um, and you can see this one burrowing to lay more eggs um, right here. And they also seem to lay eggs everywhere and anywhere. As you can see, I also found a clutch within a plastic plant I put in their habitat. As with uh, growth snails, I also incubated these eggs separately from the parents' habitat and also kept some of the soil and original substrate. Also kept the habitat um, as human as possible to not let the eggs dry out. It's also good practice to label what dates these egg clutches were laid as it can help you better keep track of how long it takes to incubate. The uh, glass snails took a significantly longer time to hatch, I would estimate at about 3-4 to four weeks after they were laid. 
and it was actually hard to spot the babies at first because we were so incredibly small, um, almost microscopic actually, which makes sense because as adults we're also incredibly small for snails. And you can see one at the tip of the tweezers right here, it's barely the size of a pinprick really. I'm keeping them in a very small habitat with cuddle bone for calcium, some kale, and some little things to hide under. They're incredibly small and fragile, and similarly to the growth snail babies, the shells are translucent at this age and very fragile. And more of them start to hatch over the course of two to three weeks, all of them around the same size as each other, just very small and hard to spot. Um, but they're thriving and they're doing pretty well actually. Thanks for watching and you can check out my TikTok and back on here for more updates about them and remember to do your thorough research if you attempt to do this as well.